Speaker Mike Johnson has been an absolute embarrassment to our nation from the day he took control of the House. But he reached an incredible new low today, and it was all caught on camera. Mike Johnson's hypocrisy was on full display when he attended Donald Trump's criminal trial in New York City this morning. We've seen a parade of supporters making their way to the Manhattan courthouse where Trump's trial is playing out. Yesterday, it was two Republican senators jockeying for his vice president pick or a cabinet position. A familiar pattern has emerged with these surrogates for the Trump campaign being used by Trump to circumvent his gag order. They say what Donald Trump's gag order prevents him from saying. This includes attacks on witnesses, jurors, and even the judge's family. It's one thing for some random members of Congress to show up at Trump's criminal trial, but the Speaker of the House? This is the most powerful elected Republican in the nation and second in line to the presidency. Doesn't he have something better to do? And why would he be anywhere near a criminal trial? How is this not interference in our criminal justice system? But the cameras were rolling and caught the exact moment when Mike Johnson proved to everybody that he is merely a support player in the Donald Trump universe. Watch this clip showing Donald Trump walking to the courtroom after speaking to the press before the trial resumed today. Keep an eye on Mike Johnson in the background. It's a scam. It's election interference at a level that's never taken place before. And now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go into the icebox and sit for a long time. Thank you very much. Mr. Mr. Trump, will you testify? Mr. Trump, what can we expect from boss? Mr. Trump, how is the judge making money off this day? Speaker Mike Johnson approvingly nods to Trump after he spews a bunch of lies and nonsense to the press. Walking behind him into the courtroom is so embarrassing. And what happened to those good Christian values that Mike Johnson claims the moral high ground with? This is a man who says he's a true believer and likes to lecture the rest of us. But now he's attending the criminal trial of a man who's accused of cheating on his wife and then broke the law to cover it up with a web of lies? Willie Geist of MSNBC broke it down well this morning. Check this out. We should also remind people that when asked for his worldview, when Mike Johnson became Speaker of the House, nobody knew anything about him. He said, you want to know my worldview? Go read the Bible. That's what I huh. stand for. <laughs> and now today, Joe, he's down at the courthouse in lower Manhattan defending the guy who's on trial for allegedly paying off a porn star for the alleged affair he had while his wife was home with their infant son. Like all the other stooges who have come to support Donald Trump at his criminal trial, Mike Johnson used a break in the trial to speak with the press. And by speaking with the press, I really mean helping Trump circumvent his gag order by attacking witnesses, jurors, and the judge's family. This is the game plan for Donald Trump. Use others to do what you aren't legally allowed to do. What we've got here is a partisan Democrat district attorney. We have a Biden donor judge, and we have an assistant DA who was recently a top official at the Department of Justice, Biden's DOJ, and recently received over $10,000 in payments from the Democratic National Committee. The star witness here is Michael Cohen. I just listened to a few moments of his uh, testimony this morning, and it is consistent with what he's already done. This is a man who is clearly on a mission for personal revenge and who is widely known as a witness who has trouble with the truth. He is someone who has a history of perjury and is well known for it. No one should believe a word he says today. As if Mike Johnson unleashing attacks wasn't enough, he also talked about how he plans on directly interfering with the investigations into Trump by going after special counsel Jack Smith. I'm working with uh, Chairman Jordan of the House Judiciary Committee, Chairman Comer of our Oversight Committee, on measures to rein in the abuses of special counsel Jack Smith. Republicans are going to try to defund the special counsel's office as a way of stopping justice from happening. It won't work, but I guarantee the GOP will try to use this as a negotiation tactic when putting together the next budget or attaching it to any must-pass bills that could come up. And of course, 
when Mike Johnson was done interfering with the criminal case, he refused to take any questions from reporters. Again, I, I came here again today on my own to support President Trump because I am one of hundreds of millions of people and, and, and one citizen who is deeply concerned about this. So I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Speaker Mike Johnson sunk to a new low today by supporting criminal defendant Donald Trump at his New York trial. I can't wait to see who else shows their true colors and comes groveling at the feet of Donald Trump. Hopefully, this trial wraps up soon and Donald Trump is held accountable for his crimes.